for just over seven dollars you can get this bicycle computer um, it tells you the functions current speed odometer trip distance maximum speed elapsed time and all of those other average speed um, you've got all of this you can see the settings on it on and off scan maintenance and this is what it looks like um, i'm going to put this on a 29 inch mountain bike um, I need to do a review on the mountain bike. So I just want to show you this and we're going to see how it works out. It's just over $7. Um, I can't remember exactly. It's just seven something, 764, whatever it was. Got it off of eBay. Of course, it's made in China, like everything. But we see it's got all these functions on it. And just wanted to show you this part and we're going to see how it works out. And I'll let you know, is it worth just over $7? I feel like it will be, but we're gonna um, put it on the bicycle. It's just simple setup. You can read the directions to put it on. I'm not gonna show all of that. It's just common sense. So I wanna show you this part and we're gonna put it on the old mountain bike and see how it works. I mainly ride on the road and I'll hit some of the side places and stuff, but so that's what we got. And Okay, just a quick look. I've already got the time set on this thing, and um, I've got the wire run over across this reflector in the front, but this thing slides in. Uh, let me get down here. It slides into this piece that holds it, and you can take it back out if you want to to put a battery in this, um, but this has got a little sticky pad on it that just goes right on there, and it's stuck on there pretty good. I don't think it'll go nowheres. I don't know, I might put one of these on it, but these are mainly for um, the bottom part, um, at resters. And I just run the wire down through this brake thing that holds the brakes on. And um, it just goes right down through the middle there and I wrapped it a couple of times. And this has got to be, this part has got to be three millimeters away from this part and it does work because I've already tried it. And this has got a screw on the back side. You stick it down between the forks. And when it comes through, it'll click every time because I've already tried it. And I can't pick this thing up and hold it just to show you how it's working. But so I'm going to put some ties. They send you some ties, um, a couple of ties through here and hold it on. And I know they make these in Bluetooth. Like I said, you're going to pay for them. But this one here was actually $7.39 on eBay. $7.39 with tax, $7.91. And you can't beat that. I know it's working. Time works on it. Now I got to set it to um, miles per hour probably. I've got to look at the functions on this. And the directions is pretty simple. And the functions are not that hard to set up. But I've got to go through that and finish that. But I just wanted to show you this part. And um, so I do know it works. And I'll do another video after I ride and add it on just to let you know how it works. Hope you're enjoying this and um, have a blessed day. Give us a like, thumbs up or something, if you will. You can subscribe to us. Outdoor, we're outdoors a lot and I'm A&T Tech Outdoors. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. But for $7.91, that's with tax. That ain't a bad deal. Over and out for now, I'll get right back with you. Don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna run this thing. Um, you have to excuse me holding the camera, but I'm trying to get this down here. I had to set it on miles, it was on kilometers. And after I set it, it's very accurate. Cause I had pinpointed a place a half a mile with a man's mailbox. And after I set it up, it was exactly a half a mile. So it works perfect. I hope you can kind of see this. Whoo! There's some rough stuff right now. But um, you get an idea. Hey, it's worth the money. If it'll hold up a couple of years, hey, I'm, I think, I say praise the Lord. It'll hold up that long. But um, it shows you. I'm going to show you how it goes through. Woo, let me stop this thing here. It'll go through. Average speed, I rode 10 minutes. Um... Distance was 1.2 miles. That's exactly correct from where I'm at. Um, maximum speed was 18. 
Average is 6.4. Um, the time, total minutes, is 10.53. So for $7, um, like in 7.91 with tax, I say it's a go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like. We got more coming, a whole bunch of stuff. Just hadn't had time to work on it, but this is it right here. I like this. And it clears out in 300 seconds. It'll just automatically clear out. Also, do not leave it sitting in the sun, direct sun. I always put it in the shade. It did say that. So I'm tickled with this for $7.91. That's total cost. I think it was $7.39 actual cost. So um, hope you enjoyed this. And take care and have a blessed day. I got my glasses on so I can read that. Maybe a little sideways here. Let me turn this thing around, but have a great day. We enjoyed um, all of our videos. We got to put more on, and we're working on it. We, we've both been tied up, me and Big A. But um, subscribe to us if you will. I'm going to show you the light also that I put on here. and I've rode it 10 times at least, and the light still works. It's great. I do get I right, mainly ride on roads. Do get off on a little bit of rough trails. So I believe this stuff will hold up for no more than I got in it. Um, Got about $13 in the speedometer and also the light together. Maybe $13.50, something like that. Can't beat that. So um, have a great day. And it's still flashing back, but it cuts off after the bicycle sets. And it will cut off by itself.